Sydney cider Annabelle Hickson was apprehensive about moving to the country when she fell in love with a farmer. You know, I thought it would be good for my young family, but I really thought it would be sort of social, socially difficult for me and also that my career would you know, really have to come to a bit of an end. The Hickson family run a pecan farm in the Jumeric Valley on the Queensland-New South Wales border. And I'm not sort of worried about what other people are doing or scared that I'm not keeping up. I just kind of feel way more courageous out here. A journalist and author, Miss Hickson has just released the first issue of a new magazine, published on the farm. If people's work can be done from anywhere, if location is no longer a barrier, we will see more and more regional mobility. People will choose regions. At Highfields near Toowoomba, demand for housing is seeing farmland transformed. In October, Lara Strofelt sold her house in Brisbane and moved to the Darling Downs. When the opportunity presented itself, you know, both working from home, no longer needing to go into the city to work, um, we just jumped at the chance. Want to do some washing up? There's no long commute. School is just down the road and she's closer to family. Quite a few friends actually coming to visit us and realising what we can actually get up here um, compared to what the lifestyle we had in Brisbane. She's part of a broader trend nationally, boosted by the global pandemic. When you become too dense, such as Sydney and Melbourne currently are, uh, those benefits start to become barriers and the, the opportunity for growth actually lies in our regional centres. This might be happening here in Toowoomba, where real estate agents say out-of-town buyers are helping drive the property market. But while Australia is the sixth biggest country in the world, 70% of us still choose to live in major coastal cities. A life out here is not some sort of second-rate life, and we're not all wishing that we could get a job that would take us to the city. Nathan Morris, ABC News, Jumeric Valley.